so this video is about um, how to change brake pads on a Chevy Express cargo van and uh, it's pretty simple the first thing you have to do is lift up your car jack up your car you can see um, we already did the other side but you jack up your car uh, uh, lift up your car uh, with a the jack then hold it with the stands which I'll show you shortly then um, remove the tire so we're doing this side now remove the tire and we'll get to the brake pads in a minute so anytime you jack up the cars like uh, with a jack you can see this is a jack here anytime you jack up the car I uh, get some stands you know like you see that's that, that's a stand and the other one is a stand don't try to walk on your car with a jack because the jack can slip and uh, <laughs> if you go under the car or if the, if the jack slips and you're walking on the car it's very dangerous so get some stands uh, uh, lift up the car with the, with the jack and lay it, uh, bring the car down slowly to sit on the stands before you start working on the car that's for safety so now we, we, we changing our brake pads on that side of the tire we already did uh, the driver side so now we're doing the passenger side so we lift this side now we're lifting that's why the jack is closer to this side than the other side so now we remove this tire and we get to the brake pads so make sure you loosen your lug nuts the lug nuts these bolts the tire bolts they are called lug nuts make them make sure you lose them lose them up lose them up before you lift the car up so lose them up lose it uh, loosen them up first um, then lift the car up because they see they are loose now after the car is up and you have this jack stand holding the car now you can easily remove this tire so because you can't you can't loosen them up when the tire is on the air you see the tire is on the air i don't know if you can see that the car is up on the air and you can't loosen them you can't loosen them up when the tire is on the air so loosen them up before you lift the car up so now we remove this tire and we'll get to the brake pads so you just basically pull this lug nut off like that, quick, quick, quick. So you can see now all the lug nuts are off. So basically now the tire just comes loose. Just pull the tire out. Just like that. Pull the tire on the side. Sometimes you can, you can put the tire under the vehicle just in case the vehicle falls. It falls on something it lands on the tire but we have the jack stands here so you can see the car is safe to work on right now so so basically these are the, the brake pads are in here this thing here is called the, uh, the caliper the caliper holds the brake pads this is called the rotor that's the rotor and the brake pads when you step on your brakes the brake pads uh, there's one brake pad on this side here there's another brake pad in the back here it's two brake pads so when you step on the brake you can see this pipe here uh, this, this is the brake fluid there's a brake fluid when you put brake fluid in your car it comes and greases the caliper and when you step on your brakes the, 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 the sanction pulls the brake pads together and it stops your car so when the brake when the brake pads wear off you, can, you start hearing the screeching the noise and sometimes it causes these lines you see here this is the rotor it can be changed too but today we are not changing that that can survive a few more months so we're not changing the rotors but once in a while you change the brakes and the rotors together but today we're just changing the brake pads so the brake pads are in here um, to change the brake pads you need to remove the caliper there's two bolts there's one up here 
I don't know if you can see it. And there's another one down here. That. And there's another one up here. So it's two bolts. You remove those two uh, two bolts here. This one, the one at the bottom, and the one on top here. Then the caliper. This caliper here comes up like this, and you you hang you you put it up here. You can hang it up here. You put it up here, so you can deal with the brake pads. So I'll show that I'll show you that shortly. So one thing I have to say before I forget. Um, this this bolt and this bolt here to break them loose uh you'll need a breaker bar a breaker bar is something like this uh you'll need a breaker bar to break loose those two bolts um because they're very because of the heat uh in the brakes and all that they're very tight so You'll need a breaker, but it took me a little while to break them loose. But once uh, you break them loose, everything else is easy. So you remove, uh, you remove this bolt and remove this bolt. After you break them loose, they're easy to remove. You can take them off, take them off. Like uh, I'll show you shortly how you go, there, how you do about that. So these are the two caliper bolts. You see, once you break them loose. Uh, they come out just like you pull them out like that. That's the lower one. Put it down there. There's the top one. You break them loose, then you just pull it out. See, the thread is only up here. So you just, as it breaks loose, you can see, you just pull it out. So those are the two bolts that hold this caliper here. So now this caliper will come off. So what you need to do is uh, get a screwdriver. And, and and pry pry the caliper out the caliper is now loose it's being just being held because of the tension this is a break see the brake but this is a brake pad brake pad and uh, it's just being held by the tension that was there so if you if you like if you get a screwdriver like this get a screwdriver flathead screwdriver just ply it out you know ply out the, the caliper on the top here the side here and then then on the bottom here on the side because well, you see that's a brake pad the brake pad is this part here there's the brake pad that's what we, we try to change so you pry the caliper out this caliper here see it's loose so we're gonna use a screwdriver to ply it out and then we'll see what's gonna happen so once you remove the caliper you can see um, one bolt goes here one bolt goes here uh, then you just hang up the caliper up here you can use a wire this is the caliper this will hold the brake pads uh, you, you put it up here sometimes it can be hard to remove that caliper it can, it can be very tight you have to fight with it a little bit uh, but eventually it will come out and now this is what we need this, these are the brake pads this is what stops your car. This, they are very easy to come. They just come there. They're just sitting right here. This one, this another one on this side. We just ply them out. This is the rotor, and these are the brake pads. They just being held by the caliper. But now the caliper is loose. You can just hit them out. Like they will just come off. They will just come off loose. If you look just hit them or pull them out sometimes they just come off by themselves but you have to you have to understand they've been sitting there for a long time with the, all the heat the brake the brakes have so much heat so you can sometimes you can just hit them out they will just come off you know? get, get get something get something and knock them out Uh, so you can see uh, the 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 old uh, the old breakfast. It goes one goes here, one goes the other one goes in here. So you can see the difference between the new one, the new breakfast. 
these are the new brake pads. See how thick they are? See how thick? These are the new ones that we're gonna put in. That's how thick they are. These are the brakes. Look at the, look at the old ones. How thin they are, especially this one. So right now, uh, uh, when I see one is like this one is the old one. This one is, is thinner than this one. I already know there's a problem with the caliper in the car because they're supposed to wear out evenly. So I have to check that. But uh, you can see the new ones, how thick they are. These are the brake bars now. And they will go in here. One will go in here, the other one will go in here. Then the caliper will come down and hold them because of those bolts. That's how you change the brake pads. Let's put them in and see how they look. So what happens is, uh, this this uh this is a new one huh so it goes in like this like that there's a clip there's this metal clip here which will go up here and there's another one here because you don't want to put the uh the ends of the caliper that angle there on a, on, a, on a metal you get hot that's why you use that me, uh, metal clip then you have to put some grease on that metal clip this fluid here is called uh, uh, the brake the brake lubricant you put that on the metal then you put some on the back of the of the brake pad and then you put the brake pad in put the caliper back in and close the close the uh, uh, put some uh, some grease some brake lubricant on those uh, caliper bolts. Then you put everything together and your car is good to go. Just make sure when uh, anytime you're changing your brakes because you have to use the C clamp and I'll show you shortly what the C clamp is for. Make sure you open your master cylinder brake fluid. See that? See how it's open like that? Because when you use a C clamp to press the uh, the caliper pistons, uh, you can break your you, you can mess up your master cylinder, which is this here with the brake fluid, or you can break uh, some of the brake lines, the brake lines that are, that go from the master cylinder to the tire. You have you have brake lines. For example, if you for example if you look down here, that's a brake line here, and you have brake lines coming all the way here. They, they put the flu they push the fluid to the brake so that your car can stop and get uh, ma maintain duplication so we'll put the brake pads in then I'll, I'll show you how to compress the uh, the caliper this caliper the brake pads are too thick so because the old ones were very thin that's why this uh, the, these pistons are out but you have to c compress these ones back in that's why you're opening the master cylinder you have to compress them back in that's why i have that c clamp there you compress them back in and then you put in the brakes let's let's look at this so when the brake pads go in they're supposed to sit like this you see that um make sure they sit on this clip here on both is on the inside and the outside then now we'll put some grease over here because the caliper will be holding here so we need to put some grease here on this side on this side here too and on this clip up here on this clip up here we put some brake lubricant to to make sure that um your brake your brakes are always lubricated and working properly so that's the next step then we'll put back the we will compress the caliper piece this this caliper here we compress these two pieces we compress them and so that they can fit here and that's the next step before we put the car together uh, and, and uh, the job is done let's do that so um, see once you once you grease the brake pad see you put the grease on the back of the brake pad on this side on the other side on the clips now the last thing, you, the major thing you have to do, you see these two, uh, this caliper here. 
will be will come to be attached to the brake pads. That's the caliper is gonna hold the brake pads, and it has two of these pistons here. So the thing is, you have to compress them all the way in. You push them these two calipers all the way in, so that when it comes when it comes here, it can fit. It can fit right here. If you just put it like this, the way it is, it's not gonna fit in here. And I'll show you shortly how it sits because uh, you, you see it has uh, the two, remember the two bolts, one bolt here, one bolt on the other side. They have to one bolt has to go in here, and the other bolt has to go up in here. So it has to hold it like this, like a jacket. It has to hold it. So with with with, with this caliper piston sitting like that, it's not gonna fit. So you take. You can use one of the old brake pads like this. This is the old brake pad. Use it here. Put it here. Take the C clamp and compress uh, those pistons until they're going. Let me show you. So um, this is what you do. You take this brake pad here, the old one that you removed. You put it right there next to those. Um, those pistons, the caliper, then you take the, your C clamp like this. See the C clamp? This is a C clamp. Uh, check this out. Take your C clamp like this. Put your C clamp right in here. Watch how uh, this goes. C the C clamp will come in there. You close it. And compress compress them until they go there all the way in like this see that that's what we're doing compressing them with a the C clamp all the way in is flash you have to make sure you compress them until they become flash you can't see that you can't see them anymore compress them all the way in see that Compressing them. That's the work of the C clamp in this changing brakes. Oh, they way in until they become flash. Until we can't see them no more. See that? Then you're losing your C clamp now. Losing your C clamp. Okay, we see one is still, uh, this one here is still there. So maybe that's, I'll tell you something, maybe this, okay, let's try and compress it. Maybe I'll tell you there's something wrong with that side of uh, the caliper. We'll find out. Uh -huh. Maybe that's why the brakes, the brake pad are wearing, they're wearing out unevenly, you know. So that's how you learn. So let's try again, do it. See. We'll, we'll, we'll know soon if it's stuck. Thank you. 
going in has to be flush you can see now now they are both flush so now the job of the C clamp is done the job of the C clamp is done so if you look now you can see uh, the caliper now is flush, everything is flush, everything is in there. You see now there's enough space uh, for the brake pads to fit in. So now we're gonna put the brake pads in. Watch, now we're gonna put the caliper onto the brake pads. Okay. Alright, so you see now how the caliper is sitting on the on the brake pads. This is the caliper now, it's down. Now you see now this is uh, the top bolt and this one here is the second bolt. Put, you put some grease, some grease on the bolts, both bolts, then you push that bolt in and uh, you can see the thread is all the way up here, so you push it in, push, push the bottom one in and uh, screw them back in, then um, you remember the master cylinder is open, so when we were compressing the caliper, we didn't mess up uh, any brake lines, I was checking the brake lines. Uh, nothing is leaking because we uh, we opened uh, the master cylinder in the engine. So now we put the bolts back in, and we're gonna put all the. This is the final part now. We're gonna put uh, lock that bolt and then lock the this lower bolt. And uh, what you do after is uh, uh, drive your car for about five ten minutes comp uh, stepping on the brakes compress the brakes step on the brakes until they get hard uh, once they get hard you know uh, drive your car for about 10 minutes uh, stepping on your brakes making them hard uh, slowly uh, so, so so that the, 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 the car can get used to the new brake pads and uh, uh, the, the caliper which is this one here and you can see this brake fluid coming into the caliper can have the fluid coming in and uh yeah your car can can because the, the caliper has to open up because we compress the caliper with a c clamp remember we did that so uh you have to uh step on your brakes put some pressure on your brakes for about five minutes until they get a little hard drive your car for about 10 minutes slow pumping your brakes and your brakes will come back to normal that's how you change the brake pads uh this is a chevy express cargo van uh, if you have any questions, ask down there in the comment section and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Um, if I missed a step, let me know. Okay, good day.